You know, God is in control. He does allow bad things to happen because he's given freedom of choice. And sometimes because of that, bad things happen as sin has entered our world and sin causes people to do some bad things. Um, we hope that this is just uh, an accident that the authorities find her even today. Today is the Sabbath day and Jesus healed many people on the Sabbath day. It was a very special day to him in the New Testament. It's an opportunity today, I believe, that she can be found and brought back to her family and be safe and sound. And I think God can work that miracle. We just kind of keep putting our trust in God that He is in control and no matter what happens, there's a plan in place. Uh, someday, Jesus is going to come back again and He's going to make all things right. The Bible says in Titus chapter 2, it's called the blessed hope, the second coming of Jesus. That's why we're called Adventists, because we believe in the hope we have in Jesus at the second coming. So I want us to continue to keep the family and summer in your prayers throughout the Sabbath day. I'm hoping to hear good news soon, right, Mike? I'm hoping to hear good news soon. God hears and answers prayer. I've seen it, I believe it, and I think he's going to do this today. Father in heaven, we praise you and thank you for hearing and answering our prayers. And we put our trust fully in Jesus. We know that he works miracles and that he is in charge. And we humbly ask Jesus that you please continue to be with Summer, that you protect her, that you bring her home, that something happens today, please Jesus, on the Sabbath, just like you've done in the New Testament, helping people on the Sabbath day, help Summer today, we ask that you please bring her home safely today. Father, we believe because we put our trust in Jesus and we approach the throne of grace boldly, not because of any goodness in us, but because of the goodness that's in Jesus. We thank you, Father, for hearing our prayer. We ask your continued blessing. In Jesus' name, amen. Don, do you want to say some words? Okay. <clears throat> Dear Lord God, our respect and love, we thank you for everything, God. Just pray that you'll please forgive us our sins and help us carry on and uh, let us all give our lives to you, God, in every way. Let me carry my cross from here on out, Lord. We thank you, God, for everything. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please watch over Summer. She's been the light of my life for five years. I thank you for that, God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Father. Amen. Bless our prayer vigil. Be here with us. Pour out your spirit upon us. Help us pray according to your will. Help us pray so that you'll intervene and you'll help Summer be safe and be found. Father, we pray, God, for angels to be sent, even now, to protect her. We pray that you work a miracle, please, and help the authorities find her safe and sound. Father, we ask that you intervene in each one of our hearts and help us lift up our prayers, not only as the person up front is praying, but even in the pews as we're hearing these prayers, we're also praying. And we claim the promise, call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. And we believe in your word and we thank you for hearing and answering our prayers. In Jesus' name, amen. And Lord, this morning we are praying especially and specifically for little Summer. God, all of our hearts are breaking as we think about this little child and we don't know where she is but God the Bible tells us also that you see everything here on earth and you know where she is send angels to protect her 
Amen. Be with the workers that are looking for her. Yes. God, God, guide them with your Holy Spirit Amen. to find her. Watch over these people, God. Lead and direct them and protect them. Be with the family, God. Comfort them that she is in your care. We humbly ask all these things in the holy name of Jesus. Amen. Our heart is breaking this morning because, not because we knew Summer, because she comes to this church, but because she is a child of God. Amen. And as we pray, let us all envision, uh, let's, uh, let us look and see if God, look into ourselves and see if God will answer our prayer. You know, God answers prayer simply because He is God. And not only that, because our faith is what makes things happen. Yes. So let us pray, when we pray, let us pray the prayer of faith that God will indeed reach in and touch and show us where Summer is at and that He will bring her back safely. Shall we pray? O oh, Father in heaven, Lord, we ask this morning that you would indeed first of all forgive us where we have sinned and come short of your glory. And Lord, we pray that your Holy Spirit will be with us this morning. Guide us and direct us, Lord. If there is anything about us that will prevent this prayer from going forth, Lord, we ask that you would just bring it to our minds that we may confess of it now and allow your Spirit, Lord, to refresh and revive us. We ask, Lord, this morning for protection for summer. Lord, you know her by name and nature. You know everything about her. Lord, you don't know the circumstances of her disappearance, but Lord, we know one thing, that you are with her. Lord, into your hands, Lord, we just put this situation. We pray for the authorities that are looking we pray for the family, especially, as they are going through this terrible time. Lord, our heart ache at this time, and we just ask, Lord, that as we seek you in wisdom, that you will guide each and every one of us. Be with those who are seeking, who are looking for her. Lord, we know that they have looked in so many places and they have not come up with anything yet. But Lord, we know that as we pray in faith, Lord, that you will open things unto us that we may see and that your will be glorified in all this. So today, we just say thank you, Lord, for your mercies and your tender care. And we just pray that you will protect Summer wherever she is and that your holy angels of strength will encamp around her, Lord, and protect her. And that you would indeed send someone, there is someone who may have seen something, that you would just impress upon their heart, or that you would just show someone where she's at so that she could come home safely. So today we say thank you. We claim it in Jesus' name. Amen. Be, O God, be merciful to me, for my soul trusts in you. And in the shadow of your wings I will make my refuge. Until these calamities have passed by, I will cry out to God Most High, to God who performs all things for me. He shall send from heaven and save me. Amen. You know, um, let's, let's bow our heads. Lord, we know that... Um, you do have everything in control and the calamities that we face will eventually pass by but lord we know as we gather here the bible tells us that if we gather two or three in your in, in your name you're here with us and so we know lord that you are here right now hearing our prayer and lord we know that um, you are a god who tells us to pray continually in all circumstances and making our petitions known to you. And Lord, 
Little Summer has become an important member of this church, and she's been important to you all along. And Lord, you have died for Little Summer. You've died for each one of us. And Lord, I pray specifically that you would save her from this calamity, that you would bring her home safe and sound. And Lord, I also pray that you would be with the family. Comfort them, Lord. Give them the peace that passes all understanding. But we don't know why, we don't know what, but we know you. And we know that you're a God of love and a God of mercy. And we know you love little Summer. And so help us continue to pray and put our petitions before you. And Lord, we know that you've heard our prayer. So answer it, Lord. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Psalms 32, verse 7. You are my hiding place. You <laughs> shall preserve me from trouble. You shall surround me with songs of deliverance. Selah. I teach. He He's got a precious, precious little summer. In his hands he has precious little summer. In his hands he has precious little summer. In his hands he's got the whole world in his hands. <clears throat> oh, Heavenly Father, right now we lift up summer. We know that she is in your hands. Amen. And Heavenly Father, we commit her to you right now. You know where she is. We don't. And so, Heavenly Father, we are so thankful for those who are looking for her right now. We are so thankful for those who are trained. We lift up our law enforcement, our search parties, and those who are looking for her right now. Heavenly Father, thank you for their dedication. Give them strength. Give them courage as they do this task. Heavenly Father, we lift up Dawn and Candace, and we lift up the children to you right now. We know that this has got to be something that only you can give them peace through this situation. And Heavenly Father, each of us, her church family, we lift each one of us up to you. Because of this situation, we know that you can have good things come out of this situation. So we just pray and uplift each one of us that you will be with us. Help us to learn from this experience the lessons that you would have us learn. And Heavenly Father, as we think of summer right now, we just ask that your hand will be over her. As you love each person in the world, we know that you are especially near to summer right now. So thank you, Heavenly Father, for being with us. Thank you for hearing and answering these prayers. For we pray in Jesus' name, amen. Isaiah 41.10 tells us, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Those are the words that God is sharing with Summer's family right now. And with all of us who love her and, and want to see her again. Fear not, for God is with you. He will comfort, he will strengthen. And we know he's strengthening those who are out there right now searching. Amen. Let's pray that he'll strengthen each heart here today. Dear Heavenly Father, when you were here on earth, you were known as the friend of children. And we know that today, Summer is one of your best friends. You said, suffer the children to come unto me, and she came to you. We pray right now that you would come to her. 
wherever she is, we pray that you give her comfort. Yes. Have angels protecting her every moment. We pray for those who are out searching. Pray for those who are putting forth incredible superhuman effort trying to find the one that we love so much. We pray especially right now for her family. It's unimaginable what what they must be going through. But we know that you, you can strengthen, you will uphold. You're right there next to them. And you're right there next to each one of us. We all love her. We all want to see her happy face here yet again. And we, we just pray that you will work mightily in this situation. Amen. That you would bless each heart that's hurting right now. And that you would bring her home. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we have so much to be thankful for, yet our minds, our hearts, are not thinking about those things, but of Summer and her family. Our heart is uh, is breaking because she's she's lost but we don't know where she is but you do you know where she is and you know how much she means to us Lord comfort Dawn and Candace and the family yes give them peace and Amen. But Lord Old summer, bring the little lamb back home, safe and sound. And we thank you in Jesus' name, amen. Lord, Manelli and I have only been here a year this month at this church, and we see the love of everybody, of this church, what this church has. And Summer, she captured our hearts. And I'm sure she captured the hearts of everyone here that, that have met her. The energy she has had just last Sunday at the garage sale that the school had, she ran around. There wasn't a corner in the, in, in the whole place that she didn't explore. And Lord... If she was here today, it just, we know she'd be all around us. You have blessed us with her, Lord, and we ask, Lord, that you bring her home. Keep her in your loving arms. Lord, this is what we're asking you. Amen. Can we kneel down, please? (laughs) Can everyone kneel down? If you can, if you can't, that's fine. (laughs) Dear Father in heaven, we come to you right now humbly. We don't understand why this is happening. We don't understand a lot of things. And we can't understand the pain this family is going through. We have no idea. But our hearts are hurting too, dear Father. And I just pray that you would comfort them in a way that only you can. We lift up little Summer to you, dear Father. You've heard our prayers. Help us find her. Help the people who are searching for her to find her. Look, let them look places they didn't think of looking before. Whoever has her, if someone has her, let them come forward and give us closure. If there is needs to be closure, we don't want that, but we just want this to be resolved and we want to have your peace 
that passes understanding and we know you can give it to us, dear Father. Give it to us whether we understand it or not. But I just pray, dear Father, that you would please intervene in the life of this precious little soul for you. Forgive me of the times that I lost my patience with her and took her to crater roll <laughs> because she wouldn't sit still. She just has so much energy and so much love and she just wants to love everybody and she's <laughs> jumping around up on the platform when pastor's preaching and forgive us the times that we rolled our eyes or <laughs> I, not that I, anyone did but I know dear father we're human and forgive us Lord. <laughs> she's such a precious little soul who just loves Jesus and if there's a Bible verse that she remembers from Sabbath school that Miss Chris taught her that all of us taught her if there's a memory verse that she can bring to her remembrance dear father that may help her to remember your love for her that you are a very present help in trouble that you were there for her that she never has to fear if there's any memory verse that she can bring to her mind right now to remind her of your love for her and your presence with her I pray that you bring it to her right now forgive us Lord and just bless this family bless these boys Bless us all, dear Father, and help us show us how we can be a support and encouragement to this family during this time. And thank you so much for hearing and answering our prayers. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Donald, do you want to say some words? Okay. <clears throat> dear Lord God, our respect and love, and we thank you for everything, God. Just pray that you'll please forgive us our sins and help us carry on and uh, let us all give our lives to you, God, in every way. Let me carry my cross from here on out, Lord. We thank you, God, for everything. In the name of Jesus Christ, please watch over Summer. She's been the light of my life for five years. I thank you for that, God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Father. Amen. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much we love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. You are our sunshine, our only sunshine. You make us happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear. How much we love you. Please don't take our sunshine away. Oh, let's see. Oh, let's see. Oh, let's see. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive those who debt against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the glory, and the power of the Lord Jesus Christ, as forever and ever. Amen.